Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-March general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So, Scorpio, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Gangsta by Kaylani. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow on the reading if you so choose to. Now, that specific song was on a soundtrack to Suicide Squad, right? And it was one of the quintessential songs that was connected to the Joker and Harley Quinn. And you guys know their relationship was very toxic, very on and off chaotic, hot and cold, but it was very passionate, right? And when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the, the message that I heard was, when did I become this person? So I'm getting this, you know, as always, I'm, I'm seeing tools in this and, and different messages with this. First of all, I'm getting this. Some of you all can be like, when did I become this person that was so clingy or um, either A, you have become very clingy or B, you're allowing a clingy person to stay in your space and that's not like you. And some of you all may be feeling like you need to pull back, pull the reins back because it feels like things are getting too intense. Because that's what the, the Joker and Harley's energy was all about, intensity, like intense love, intense drama, just intensity as a whole. And I feel like for some of you all, this relationship or this situation feels like it's becoming too intense, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. Even if you are in an established relationship, Somebody could be going through a cycle because you know we nothing stays the same. Even if you have a you're a very routine person, certain things happen in our life that requires us to switch things up. So even if you've been with this person for a while, something can happen that a switch up is causing some type of intense shift in you or your person's energy. Okay, so again, let's see what we get for you guys today. We're gonna change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. We shall do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, there are absolutely no reversals in either one of these decks. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such. Currently, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Wands, a card of victory, success, attainment, achievement. Now, this is also someone who likes to be put on a pedestal and likes to be respected, well revered. They want to be seen by the village. They, they like praise. So this could also be a situation, okay? So again, I'm getting two things. Either you could have all of a sudden just shifted in an energy where at one point you didn't need admiration from everyone about every little thing that you did. And now all of a sudden you feel as though you want to be praised for your work well done. Or again, this could be your person. Like your person could have been a very mild-mannered individual, very shy or timid or just, you know, very much to themselves. But now all of a sudden it's like they, they're seeking approval from everyone. And I am hearing that somebody's seeking approval. Because remember what I said, I heard that somebody's like, when did I become this person? Like you're looking at your actions or your person's looking at their actions or you're looking at your person's actions. Like when did you become this person? Why, why does it matter to you now all of a sudden how people see you, how people view you, what people think about you? Why is that a concern now? Because this is definitely someone who wants their flowers and they want them like yesterday. You know, is what I'm getting there. Okay. And also keep in mind, we are currently in a six year. 2022 equates to the number of six. And you have the six of wands here. So this is also a card of victory coming for a lot of you all. And you had very strong earth in your pre-shuffle towards Virgo Capricorn. But some of you guys could also be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which would be the death card. We will get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we will get clarifiers for both. Then I, what did I just say? Some of you guys are definitely the little earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, strong towards right here. And then with the three of cups, now some people can see the three of cups, especially with those three women floating there with masks on. You could see it as a third party situation. I do feel like somebody is possibly seeking validation because her holding that pinnacle could be validation. Somebody is seeking validation from people outside of you guys' relationship. But also, this could be something that's getting ready to be celebrated. Like, you know, Three of Cups is celebrating unions, um, coming together with friends for drinks and, you know, just kickbacks and enjoying times with each other. And stability, especially with finances. I feel like for a lot of y'all, there's definitely going to be some stability with your finances. You could see some type of positive change coming in in March. Okay, and we are currently in March right now because you have Three of Cups. And again, this is you guys' energy. And I feel like 
even though you are a water sign, I feel like in Pisces season, again, which we are currently in, you're going to see some type of increase because you see how she's facing the Three of Cups with her pinnacle. You're going to see some type of increase. Also, some of you all in the past may have been one of those people where you wanted to keep your options open, but there's somebody specific out of this these, these options that may have made you want to settle down. Because this talks about stability and, and being, you know, quite fixed. Because Taurus is a fixed energy, right? So there's something where somebody's wanting to offer something long-term. Or again, I'm going to say it has to do with your finances as well. I know this is a love reading, but I am getting that as well. I actually like this energy together, you know. So let's go ahead and change the card to the top and the bottom of the deck. And then get into your reading. Five of Wands, Conflict, Arguments, Disagreements, Chaos. What did I just say? The song that I heard, Gangsta by Kayani. And I'm going to tell you also, somebody could be testing your gangster, okay? And you may have to remind somebody like, yeah, I'm in tune, I'm spiritual, I'm grounded, but I still get with you. You know, I'm getting that energy as well. Like somebody literally may be testing your gangster, okay? So let's go through the deck and get your major arcana. Oh, woo. You just had the queen of pentacles and I had a king. And then you have the moon, things hidden, things unknown, things we don't have clarity about. That crab is coming to the surface. Something, some type of truth is coming to the surface that's causing some type of, that may cause some type of drama. Also, I'm going to, ooh, okay, so somebody could be a little, with the moon card, okay? Again, things hidden, things unknown, things we don't have clarity about, secrets, mystery, um, and the moon is your emotions and your feelings. Somebody could be seeing a side of a person that they, a side emerging, because you see how the crab is emerging out of water, a side emerging out of someone that they've never seen before, or you, this could be happening with you because it's watery energy also. But I'm going to tell you, you just had the queen of pentacles, now you had a king, that's a pair. I feel like either you're married to this person or there's going to be, somebody has some secret that they want to have some type of long-term commitment. In, even if you're not married to this person, you could have been with this person for quite a long time and there are plans of marriage. I really feel like a secret may come to the light that's really going to test you. And also, like I said, something could be some emotions because, again, the moon is the emotions and feelings. Some emotions could be coming to the surface that, like I said, I keep hearing this over and over again. When did I become this person? Like I was always so grounded and stable and then... It's something about this situation or this person that's bringing chaos into your life. Let's see. Cause now I'm nosy and I want to know. <laughs> okay, and this is going to happen soon because I didn't even get that far until we got your card. So you have the death card right in front of it. Woohoo, woohoo, what's going on, Scorpio? So you got the five of wands. You got the five of swords. One, two, three people. Again, I'm going to say there's too many people in your business. And... I feel like there's naysayers about your relationship because I want you to see you have swords here and then right behind you have swords, eight of swords. And then you, ooh, you got two eights back to back, eight of swords, eight of pentacles. Um, You could have known this person for eight plus years, the past eight days, eight weeks or eight months. There could have been some type of challenges. I feel like if this is a newer relationship, it would be in that time frame, eight days, eight weeks, eight months. But for some people, they're not feeling this relationship, okay? Because communication and mental is the energy of swords. And the swords are down all but for one. I feel like a lot of people are saying that this isn't going to work. This is moving too fast. You're, you're allowing yourself to be bound by a situation too soon. Because there could be talks of marriage already. Because like I said, you had the king of pentacles, queen of pentacles. That's a pair. And they're king and queen. So they're talking about long term. They're not talking about something fleeting and short lived. They're talking about long term. Um, also, yeah, ooh, some of you guys can be cutting off friends that you feel like is naysayers. You got someone on their knees, then you got someone who is out of here, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possible individuals involved. Could be two people specifically. I'm just looking at how right, right, swords. you have those two stars. It could be two people specifically that are against you and your person's union. And I do feel like that is the case because you had two cards back to back that are eights. So you could have friends that were eight plus year friends or you could have been friends with these people since you were eight years old. There could be a sibling who is eight years older or younger than you who feels as though I feel like somebody is confronting you or your person saying like you are so bound and so caught up in this person that you can't even see what's going on. Somebody somebody has something to say. I know that because, again, you had the five of swords and then the five of wands the, both of these are cards of conflict if you notice here so somebody is saying that things are going oh 
Okay, that's that Harley Quinn and Joker thing. That like, I feel like somebody coming into your life has changed either you or something is making this person feel it's something toxic here. You know, it's just like something about this person's presence is causing chaos in your life. Let's see. Let's get your clarifiers. Bottom of the deck. Woo! What's, okay, there's an air sign involved here. But something could have happened in Aquarius season, which we literally just left out of. If you're not dealing with the air sign, you also have very strong air in your chart as well. You got three of swords, heartbreak, sorrow, sadness, grief. So I'm going to say again, there also could be someone that you're dealing with that there's an on again, off again relationship with. And that would be definitely conflict. And you have people stepping in saying, don't go back to this again. Don't don't allow yourself to be trapped in this energy with this person again. Some of you all feel as though you can't find a way out of it. Yeah, uh-huh. That's what I'm getting. Because, you know, and it, and it doesn't have to be you. Again, your person's people can be saying that, friends and family. Because, again, going back to gangster, it's like, if you knew the story of Harley Quinn and the Joker, it's, again, it's very toxic. Nothing in no time, no space, no person could separate the two of them. But ultimately, in the end, okay, ultimately in the end, the Joker ends up killing Harley Quinn. So it's like something that's causing, you know, and you got a person who's dead here. And I'm not talking about a physical death, but I'm talking about like heartbroken. Like you feel like this, this killed, you broke your heart. So it's one of those energies where it's like somebody's telling you don't go back to this situation again because it's only going to end in heartbreak. Again, it doesn't have to be you. It could be your family, your person's family. And you would know because you know it, it's it's no way you couldn't know. It's too much. It's too many people here. It's too many people in your damn business. Okay. Yeah. And it's conflict. It's conflict. It matters to the heart. Definitely strong air sign energy here. And I feel like, so, again, I'm going to say something is definitely going to go down in March. You do have three here again. It's part of the deck. Woo! Are you watching this? And I'm not parting this evenly. You got the three of swords and three of pentacles, and there you go again with all these damn people in your business. Somebody always got something to say. They got a list a mile long about things that you went through in this situation. And I feel like for a lot of you all, you will be more than willing, or your person will be more than willing to cut people off if it means that the two of you all are still in union. Because the three of pentacles talks about establishments, building things together. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with either air sign or earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow. Something's definitely going down in here. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So with the three of wands, uh, the three of pentacles, also, I'm really getting, for some of you all, it could literally be like a shotgun wedding for someone. And for others, somebody can be announcing an engagement in March. And a lot of people are not going to be happy about it because, again, you got the same cards. A lot of people are not going to be happy about it, not supportive about it. And if that's not the case, it's just more so some of you all are figure, figuring out that you may need to cut people out because they're not supportive of your relationship. And you're going to choose to move forward regardless of what they say with the world card. You have Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and also your energy, Scorpio. And if you notice, she's looking right in the direction of the five of swords. A lot of con There's a lot of conflict here. And I said that this is chaos. People may feel like when this person came into your world that all the chaos and drama began. I also want you to notice how she's in a circle of swords here. And right here, she's in a circle. So you may feel like this person is your whole world or this person feels like you are their whole world. Just like Harley Quinn, she gave up everything for the Joker. She was a very prominent psychiatrist and she completely went batshit when she got, you know, Joker got... Mm, the Joker got into her head. Swords, communication, mental. The Joker got into her head. So somebody could be feeling as though either you have gotten to this person's head and changed their whole world or vice versa. Mm -hmm. Yep. I feel like you got a lot of people, and I, I just heard intervention. Like, people feel as though they need to intervene in this situation because they feel like you guys are chaotic. But I also feel like them stepping in your business is adding to the chaos also. Bottom of the deck, you have the three of wands. You got all this three energy. Something is definitely going down in March, okay? Let's get a clarifier for the five of swords. Yeah, you guys got stuff going down in March. It's going to happen quick. You got the empress in reverse. What number is the empress? Three. Something's going down in March, okay? That's just hands down for you guys. I'll, I'll leave it in the comments. Let your girl know. So, you have the five of swords. And I feel like what I'm getting right here is somebody does not want you to marry this person. Somebody also possibly does not want you to have a child with this person because the Empress is always a mother also, okay? Now, the Empress in reverse, this is Libra, Taurus, also Aries energy. So you could be dealing with individuals of that sign. 
But the Empress is always the counterpart, divine counterpart of the Emperor. Okay, to have this in reverse, that could either mean a divorce, where there's conflicts and, and there's people who are hurt because of this ending, possibly children. And also there could be a strong mother figure who is not feeling your relationship. There could really be a mother figure who's interfering or trying to intervene, and you may shut that down. You may be like, nope. Mm-mm. Because you see how he has a sword up? Like, nope. I don't want to hear it. I love you, but I don't want to hear it. And the major arcana, the empress, you know, that's a major arcana, right? So that's a definite energy. Yeah. I'm really getting energy that some, uh, there could be a mother figure, very strong mother figure or older sister, because I just heard, heard eldest sister. An older sister could be like, you are so wrapped up in this person's world that you don't even know what's going on around you. You're not seeing what's going on. And you may be shutting this person down, you or your person. Bottom of the deck, you have two of cups. So like I said, you're choosing love over everything else. Definitely choosing love over everything else here. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, so let's get a clarifier <laughs> for the eight of swords. Yeah. This is an intense energy because I feel like a lot of you all are going to be choosing your, your love mate, your partner, over everyone else. You got the Knight of Wands in reverse. Now, the Knight of Wands is typically known as the player, someone in and out, hot and cold, in and out, you know, just jumping into a situation very quickly and just, you know, with haste, not really thinking things out. In reverse, you're kind of like, I, I assure you, I've thought it out. I know what I'm doing. I'm not just being foolish and blind. I also want you to notice in the background, what is there? One, two, three, mountains or hills. Hills and mountains and cars talk about hurdles and challenges that you need to get over. In reverse, you know, it's like, I feel like the hurdle that needs to be gotten over is hastiness. Because it is the energy of things moving too quickly. Let's see what's the bottom deck. Two of swords. Somebody's not thinking things through. Yeah. Because two of swords, I always say you got sword up, yes, sword down, no. And even though upright, she has her arms crossed and she's refusing to make a decision. In reverse, it's like, yeah, I'm just going to sit here and let things play out. I'm just going to stay stuck in limbo. I'm getting two messages, to be quite honest with you. It's, it's like, for some of you all, this is a repeating cycle that may have been toxic and family and friends are like, this is ongoing. When is this going to end with the two of you all? And then for others, it's something new that came in very quickly. And you're trying to convince your people that this person is not a player. But then your people are telling you that this ain't a, this ain't a companion. This isn't a consort either. This isn't what you want to do. Because I want you to see that their backs are facing each other here. And I, and I just picked this up off the table like this. Their backs are facing each other. This is how it was. So it's like they're not even on the same page, not on the same accord. And somebody is really needing to take the time and really think about what they're doing. Because also, like I said, the song Gangster with Kate, with um the Joker and Harley, it things did move very quickly. It escalated very quickly. And somebody is wanting you to slow down. That's why you have this in reverse. Or this is what your partner's people could be saying. Because again, you're not going to keep getting all this energy if there wasn't too many people involved. And keep in mind, we also have the Three of Pentacles. You guys got a lot of people in your business. But it could be because... And I keep hearing intervention, like somebody feels as though they want to save you or your person. They feel like something is toxic. That's what I'm hearing. Really, I am. Okay. You guys let me know in the comments because this is a very unique reading for you all this, this week. Okay. So, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.